my name is Abby. Before I get started with my book talk today, is it as cold uh, in your, like, home region as it is here? Because, I mean, like, I'm wearing, able to wear a t-shirt right now because our heater is up like in my room and I'm super warm in here but I went and left the dog outside and I had to go run and put on some really fuzzy socks because it is freezing outside it's only November I mean I guess the cold weather is coming in anyway I am not making this video to talk about cold weather I am making this video so we can talk about Unholy by Neil Shusterman I just finished it last night and holy cow we need to speak about this book Unholy is the sequel to Unwind, and if you have not read that book yet, or um, need a refresher, I have a book talk that I will link below, you can go watch that. And since this is, set, this is a second book in a series, if you have not read it, I will ask you to leave because I'm going to spoil you all over the place. So, come back when you have read the book and we will discuss. Okay, am I the only one that gets really stressed out when they real read something by Neil Susterman? I love his books, but oh my gosh, it is so stressful to read his book. Let's start off with the three new characters that we have. We have Starkly, who I do not like whatsoever at all. I didn't really like him at the beginning of the book because he was already, I mean, like, you start out normal, but then he gets sketchier and sketchier as the book progresses. And now I'm just like, hmm, um, I hope by the end of this four-part series, I mean, like, I'm okay if he is one of the people to get killed off. Um, compared to our other five characters that I love, so they better not kill other than Stark. Starkly can do whatever he wants. Um, our next one is Miracolina. Um, I had a really hard time. Like whenever I read it, like I just like honestly like even from the beginning, I was just reading it as Mara because I couldn't pronounce it in my head. Um, she is a tithe to like Lev, and when we started reading it, I was like, oh man. We're gonna get a repeat of Lev and stuff. But I like it how Neil Swasterman, like, made her com character completely different. And I love the interaction that she and Lev had throughout the book, so I'm very excited to keep reading her character. And the third new character that we have is Cam. And he is probably one of my favorite characters now in this series. He's just so interesting. Um, kind of like a... Like, I want to cross him between, like, a Frankenstein and, like, a like Beast from Beauty and the Beast. And, because he's, he wants to be good, and, but, like, I mean, people are gonna hate him, who are, like, are against Unwind, because he was made of so many different, um, Unwind kids, but it, it's just interesting the way that he described, like, when you, when you're first reading, you're really confused, and, um, it's just, like, you're trying to figure out, like, who he is, and then you find out that he is a Rewind which is, like, all, like, he has, like, different parts from so many different people. It's just, whew. I will tell you, I almost spoiled myself for this book because I ordered the third book from the library because I got really excited because I was like, oh my gosh, he wrote an, uh, an Unwind sequel. I gotta get this. And it was, like, the new one. I was like, oh my gosh, it's taking so long for this to come out. So I started, like, <laughs> I read the, the inside cover, and I'm like, who are all these new characters? And, um, like, I start, I, like, I'm looking at it. Then I flip, I got halfway through the, the inside cover, and then I look at the front, and I'm like, this is the third book. I was so mad. So mad. I went to the library the next day, like, I had started, like, I had, like, been like, oh, man, I gotta go order this. And then, on the shelf in the library, I find it. It's, like, on one of the teen shelves. It's, like, on display. There is Unholy, and I was so happy because it was there, and I picked it up right away, and I started reading it, and it was fantastic. The one thing I don't really, like, I wasn't really crazy about is that it's, the plot, some of the plot points are sort of repetitive, but, I mean, I love these books, so, honestly, I, I was okay with that, um, so, what did you think about that? Are you one of the people who are, like, you put the book down after it starts getting repetitive, or... What? I mean, like, if you read Divergent, um, you're probably used to a little bit of repetitiveness. So I was reading this book last night. I had finished it, like, right before I went to bed. And I went back and I read, like, the last couple pages this morning just to make sure I comprehended everything. I don't- these cliffhangers are killing me! I'm so glad I have the third book, but, um, it's just- I, I can't imagine people- like, I'm, I'm afraid to read the third book, because I'm like, what cliffhanger are we gonna get this time? Because- 
means the second to last book in this four part series so i'm just like and how long am i gonna have to wait but like i mean all the harvest camp kids are gone and like they're everywhere i mean i think they said like 30 34 or something were killed and um starkly has got some of his his uh stork kids what do you think about the storks actually um those th those was interesting the stork club because like you never really got like the like in the first book, I mean, you you saw that one story about like the stork baby being passed around the neighborhood and then ended up dying, but um, like we we get like um, perspective from kids that are storks, so um, it, that that was pretty interesting. Um, but I mean, like they're all they're all with um, Starkly now, and um, now the two guys at the end are just. Uh, trying to figure out what to do, so, and this cliffhanger is driving me nuts. Oh, 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 Risa, oh, I forgot to talk about her. Okay, that was something that was predictable in the book. When you, when you, when you start reading that she has a new spine, you're like, okay, he, they're blackmailing her in some way, shape, or form, and it's gotta be with the Harvest Camp kids. I mean, there's, there's no, there, there's no other explanation, and it's too obvious, and, um, I was kind of frustrated on how obvious it was, because I was just hoping, I was like, maybe, maybe there's something different, maybe, like, maybe, like, they, they, like, have this, like, serum from, like, like, from Unwind Kids that, like, changes your mind or something, and you, like, put, like, they, like, forced, like, a brain cell into her that, like, changed your mind about unwinding or something, and, I, I mean, like, it, it was just too predictable for me. That was, that was another thing I didn't really like about this. I feel so bad for Cam because he loves her and I want, like, I, I love, I, ugh, it's just, mm. I mean, I love Connor and Risa as a couple, but I mean, Risa's not there anymore and Connor is probably like really pissed at her because like, I don't think, I, I don't remember, like, did, did he find out that, that she, she wasn't for unwinding or something? But, um, uh, mm. It's just, uh, love triangles, they're, they're so frustrating. There's always a love triangle in dystopians. Have you noticed this? Have you noticed this? If Risa and Cam end up together by the end of this four-part series, I will be okay because I love Cam's character and he's very well developed. Can't wait for him to be even more developed as, like, they're going out into the world more, um, in this next book and, uh, I, I want, I, I would be okay if if they ended up together. Okay, this is kind of a ramble more than a book talk. I mean, it's more of a book ramble, but, um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, this is a lesson to know that you need to write an outline before you do your book reviews. So, um, comment below of what your favorite part of the book is. Um, if you had any, uh, like, who's your favorite character? What frustrated you about the book? And have you read the third book yet? And if you have, do not spoil me. So, uh, that is all for this book talk. And I will see you all next time.